New at 11, over the years, the desert has served as an inspiration to film directors, writers, producers, and actors all the way back to the golden age of Hollywood. It was easy to take full advantage of the open space nearby and, of course, the weather. We're taking a look back at film production and what's changed since the beginning. News Channel 3 producer Evan Sanford spoke with the executive director of the Palm Springs Cultural Center for a brief history. So the history of filming in the desert goes all the way back to the 30s when Frank Capra came out on the railroad. and they filmed movies out here. And back then they were doing a lot of major studio films. The uh, film Lost Horizon was actually filmed here and uh, the horse scene at the top of Tokwitz Canyon required them to winch a horse up to the top of the waterfall. So there's a, a huge long history of filming in the desert. And independent filmmakers discovered the desert because if you're on a limited budget with an independent film, um, you don't want to worry about weather, and we have some of the most consistent weather you can find. In the 50s and 60s, when Hollywood was making all the westerns, they needed sets, and they literally would go out and build towns. They would build main streets for towns, and one of the towns that they built was up in the high desert, um, and it was called Pioneer Town. And literally, it was a little main street with all of the shops and stores and everything that you would expect in the old Wild West. Well, since they abandoned it and it's been there, they formed a whole little community that's built around this town that was only built with storefronts. And so they've added actual stores behind some of them and it's opened kind of as a tourist attraction to people. And then of course, over the years, we've had lots of other different films, both major films and also independent films that have been done here. A lot of them have actually premiered at the Palm Springs International Film Festival because uh, they would really try to shine a focus on locally made films and local filmmakers. And specifically the city of Palm Springs has always been very film friendly and at times has waived location charges and really tried to encourage filmmakers to come here. The stories say that they could be away from Hollywood and away from all the um, gossip columnists and all of the other folks um, but not too far away to respond to a studio if they called them and needed them for something. Those were the years that actors and actresses were under contract to the studios. So if they needed them back in Hollywood quickly, they could get back pretty quickly from the desert. Whatever the original reason they came out here to play, they did come out to the desert to play. And uh, they enjoyed the sun, the tennis, the uh, swimming pools and all the things that the desert has to offer. The directors, the producers, writers also have made homes here. And you don't hear as much about those because they're the people who are at the end of the credits, but they really are the people who are actually making the movies and responsible for financing them, responsible for writing them, editing them, you name it. We've got folks who were in all aspects of the movies out here. And while the Palm Springs International Film Festival and Gala were canceled again due to COVID, mm -hmm. uh, this year's juried award winners were announced today. And you can see a full list on our website, KESQ.com. Okay, great to take a look back at the history of films in the desert. You know, it, this was supposed to be the International Film Festival month. Hey, and we want to thank Evan Sanford, who put that piece together for us as... Blake alluded to earlier, this is Evan's last night with us. Yeah, Evan has many talents, so he produces our mm -hmm. 11 o'clock newscast, but he also can do things like that, mm -hmm. which are amazing. And we're really going to miss you, Evan, because you go above and beyond, and you keep us laughing, by the way, which we really appreciate. And we know what, what you're doing in the future, which we won't announce. You can do that yourself, but we are excited for you and your next moves. And we will miss you and for sure keep in touch.